George Kennedy lived a remarkable life as a highly respected and successful actor. Born in New York in 1925, Kennedy served in the United States Army during World War II before pursuing a career in acting. Throughout his long and varied career, Kennedy appeared in over 200 films and television shows, earning critical acclaim and a devoted fan base. He is perhaps best known for his role as Dragline in the 1967 film Cool Hand Luke, for which he won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Kennedy also had memorable roles in films such as The Dirty Dozen, Earthquake, and The Airport series. In addition to his work in film, Kennedy also had a successful career on television, appearing in shows such as The Sons of Katie Elder, The Blue Knight, and Dallas. Despite his many accomplishments, Kennedy remained humble and dedicated to his craft throughout his life. He was known for his strong work ethic and his ability to bring depth and complexity to every role he played. In addition to his acting career, Kennedy was also a decorated military veteran, a licensed pilot, and a successful author. He wrote several books, including Trust Me and The Best of Both Worlds, sharing his insights and experiences from his diverse career. George Kennedy's contributions to the world of entertainment will be remembered for generations to come. His legacy is a testament to his talent, dedication, and passion for his craft. George Kennedy was a well-known actor, famous for his roles in movies such as Cool Hand Luke and the Airport series. He won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in 1968 for his role in Cool Hand Luke. What makes Kennedy an enduring symbol of the industry is his ability to play a wide range of roles and his enduring presence on screen. Do you remember the first work of George Kennedy you watched? Kennedy's career spanned over five decades and he appeared in over 100 films. He was not only an actor, but also a writer, director, and producer. His work has left a lasting impact on the film industry and continues to be celebrated today. Do you have a favorite memory or personal experience related to George Kennedy? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. There are many funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up about George Kennedy's life and career, so keep watching this video to learn more about this classic star. George Kennedy, a prominent figure in American cinema, was born in New York in 1925. His father, George Harris Kennedy Assar, was an artist and interior designer, while his mother, Edith Kennedy, was a ballet dancer. George's parents separated when he was young, and he was raised by his mother in Connecticut. Kennedy's exposure to the world of entertainment began at an early age. He attended the Admiral Farragut Academy, a military preparatory school in New Jersey, where he developed an interest in drama and performing arts. After graduating, he served in the United States Army during World War II, where he worked as an entertainer, performing in shows for the troops. After his military service, Kennedy pursued a career in acting. He studied at the Actors Studio in New York, where he learned from renowned acting teachers like Lee Strasberg and Stella Adler. Kennedy's early career included roles in television shows and Broadway productions. One of Kennedy's key mentors was the legendary actor and director, Burt Lancaster. The two first worked together in the 1963 film, The Train and Lancaster became a mentor and friend to Kennedy. Lancaster encouraged Kennedy to pursue more substantial roles and helped him develop his acting skills. Kennedy's career took off in the 1960s with notable roles in films like Charade and Harm's Way and The Dirty Dozen. His breakout role came in 1967 with the film Cool Hand Luke, where he played the menacing captain, a role that earned him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. In summary, George Kennedy's early influences included his parents, who instilled in him a love for the arts, and his mentors like Burt Lancaster, who helped him develop his acting skills. Kennedy's upbringing, military service, and early exposure to the world of entertainment set the stage for a successful career in Hollywood. George Kennedy's impact on the film industry is significant. He began his career in the 1960s and quickly became a well-known figure in Hollywood. Kennedy is best known for his role in the, the Naked Gun series, but his contribution to the industry goes beyond that. He won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in 1967 for his role in Cool Hand Luke, which solidified his status as a talented actor. Kennedy's ability to play both comedic and dramatic roles made him a valuable asset in the industry. Kennedy's influence on the film industry during his era and beyond is evident. He appeared in over 100 films and television shows, working with some of the most prominent directors and actors of his time. His tough guy persona and versatile acting style made him a popular choice for many filmmakers. 
One of Kennedy's most significant contributions to Hollywood was his ability to break stereotypes. He often played against type, taking on roles that challenged audiences' perceptions of him. This ability to defy expectations and push boundaries helped to shape the film industry and pave the way for future actors. In addition to his acting career, Kennedy was also a writer and director. He wrote and directed the 1977 film The Little Shepherd of Kingdom Come, which received positive reviews from critics. Kennedy's contributions to the industry as a writer and director further solidified his status as a Hollywood legend. George Kennedy's impact on the film industry is still felt today. His talent, versatility, and influence continue to inspire actors and filmmakers alike. Kennedy's legacy in Hollywood is a testament to his dedication to his craft and his ability to leave a lasting impact on the industry. George Kennedy's passion for acting was sparked at a young age. As a child, he would put on shows for his family and neighbors using props and costumes made from household items. His mother, a pianist, encouraged his creativity and often accompanied his performances on the piano. Kennedy's first pivotal experience in acting came when he was in high school. He was cast as the lead in a school production of Serrano de Bergerac. Kennedy's performance was a hit and he discovered a deep love for being on stage. After high school, Kennedy joined the United States Army and served in World War II. When he returned home, he decided to pursue a career in acting. He studied at the Actors Lab in Hollywood and began appearing in small roles in films and on television. Kennedy's big break came in 1967 when he was cast as Dragline in the film Cool Hand Luke. His powerful performance earned him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. From then on, Kennedy became a household name and went on to have a successful career in film and television. Throughout his career, Kennedy remained passionate about acting and continued to take on new and challenging roles. He once said, I love acting. It's my passion. I can't imagine doing anything else. Kennedy's dedication and love for his craft are a testament to his enduring legacy in the world of entertainment. George Kennedy was a respected actor, known for his work in films such as The Flight of the Phoenix and Brass Target. In The Flight of the Phoenix, he starred alongside four other Oscar winners, James Stewart, Ernest Borgnine, Peter Finch, and Richard Attenborough. For his performance, Kennedy received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1991. In Brass Target, Kennedy portrayed General George S. Patton. The film boasted a talented cast, including two Oscar winners, Sophia Loren and George Kennedy, as well as four Oscar nominees, Max von Sydow, John Cassavetes, Robert Vaughn, and Bruce Davison. Throughout his career, Kennedy worked with many notable actors and left a lasting impact on the film industry. His contributions and talent continue to be celebrated and remembered. George Kennedy, the renowned actor, faced numerous challenges in his early career. Born into a family with financial struggles, he had to work odd jobs to support himself. Despite these hardships, he pursued his passion for acting. Initially, Kennedy encountered skepticism from the industry due to his lack of formal training and experience. However, he remained undeterred and continued to hone his craft. He took on various small roles and learned from more experienced actors. One of the creative solutions Kennedy found to overcome these obstacles was to expand his skills beyond acting. He became a technical advisor and stuntman, which allowed him to gain the trust and respect of industry professionals. Kennedy's resilience and determination paid off when he landed his breakthrough role in the film Cool Hand Luke. His powerful performance earned him critical acclaim and solidified his place in Hollywood. Despite facing numerous challenges, George Kennedy's story is one of perseverance and creativity. His ability to adapt and find alternative paths to success is an inspiration to aspiring actors and a testament to the human spirit. George Kennedy starred as Colonel Fairchild in the 1965 film Shenandoah, the first of five films where he appeared alongside James Stewart. The other films included The Flight of the Phoenix, Bandolero, Fool's Parade, and Airport 77. In Earthquake, Kennedy played the role of Slade. A sequel, Earthquake Roman II, was planned with a script written by George Fox, but it never went into development. The sequel would have focused on several surviving characters, including Kennedy, Victoria Principal, Richard Roundtree, and Gabriel Dell, as they navigated new relationships and business ventures in San Francisco, California. An unexpected earthquake and tsunami threatened the city. 
The original script for Earthquake 2 was discovered in 2005 in director Mark Robson's paper stored at the UCLA Film and Television Archives. Kennedy also played Captain Ed Hocken in The Naked Gun from the Files of Police Squad. The studio insisted on casting an Oscar winner in one of the major roles, leading to Kennedy's casting. Kennedy had been actively campaigning for the role, saying he was furious at having missed his chance to spoof himself in Airplane. George Kennedy's career had several breakthrough moments that showcased his versatility as an actor. In 1963, he won an Academy Award for his supporting role in the film Cool Hand Luke, where he played the tough, no-nonsense chain gang captain. This role established him as a formidable character actor in Hollywood. Later, in 1970, Kennedy starred in the disaster film Airport, which was a massive hit and spawned several sequels. His performance as Joe Petroni, a gruff and experienced airport engineer, was widely praised and is considered one of his most iconic roles. Kennedy's portrayal of Petroni in Airport led to a string of similar roles in disaster films throughout the 1970s, further solidifying his status as a leading man. In addition to his work in film, Kennedy also had a successful career in television. He appeared as a guest star on numerous shows and had a recurring role on the popular series The Blue Knight. In 1980, he was cast as Carter McKay in the primetime soap opera Dallas, a role that he played for five years. Kennedy's performance as the Ruthless in Cunning Oil Tycoon was highly acclaimed and is remembered as one of his most memorable roles. Throughout his career, Kennedy was known for his ability to bring depth and complexity to his characters. His collaborators often spoke of his dedication to his craft and his ability to bring a sense of realism to his roles. Critics praised his versatility noting that he was equally convincing in both dramatic and comedic roles. In conclusion, George Kennedy's career was marked by several breakthrough moments, including his Academy Award-winning performance in Cool Hand Luke and his iconic role in Airport. His work in television, particularly in Dallas, further cemented his status as a leading man. Kennedy's ability to bring depth and complexity to his characters, as well as his versatility as an actor, made him a beloved and respected figure in the world. George Kennedy, born in 1925, was an American actor known for his work in films and television. During his career, he shared the screen with many notable actors of his time. Compared to his contemporaries, Kennedy stood out for his unique qualities. Unlike some of his peers, who focused primarily on dramatic roles, Kennedy was known for his versatility. He excelled in both comedy and drama, often playing tough guy characters with a gruff exterior and a soft heart. His ability to balance humor and intensity made him a standout in a crowded field of talented actors. Another quality that set Kennedy apart from his contemporaries was his physicality. He was a large man, standing at 6'4 tall, and he used his size to his advantage in many of his roles. Whether he was playing a police officer, a soldier, or a criminal, Kennedy brought a sense of authority and power to the screen. Despite his imposing presence, Kennedy was also known for his warmth and kindness off-screen. He was a mentor to many young actors and was highly respected by his peers. His unique blend of toughness and compassion made him a beloved figure in the industry. When compared to his contemporaries, George Kennedy's work stands the test of time. His ability to adapt to different genres, his physicality, and his warm personality all contributed to his success. While many actors from his era have faded into obscurity, Kennedy's legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. George Kennedy, the esteemed actor, was known for his dedicated and meticulous approach to his work. He had a unique style that combined realism with a touch of subtle exaggeration, which made his characters both relatable and engaging. Kennedy's ability to convincingly portray a wide range of roles, from tough guys to comedic characters, set him apart in the industry. His personal experiences and worldview significantly influenced his work. Having served in the military, Kennedy brought a sense of discipline and authenticity to his roles, particularly those of authoritative figures. His Midwestern upbringing also shaped his down-to-earth and straightforward demeanor, which was reflected in his performances. Kennedy's artistic vision was deeply rooted in his belief in the power of storytelling. He saw his role as an actor as a way to communicate meaningful stories to audiences, often choosing roles that explored complex human emotions and experiences. His work was a testament to his commitment to his craft and his desire to contribute to the rich tapestry of American cinema. In essence, George Kennedy was a dedicated and talented actor who brought a unique style and approach to his work. 
His personal experiences and worldview were reflected in his performances, and his commitment to storytelling made him a beloved figure in the world of American cinema. George Kennedy played the role of Captain Joe Patroni in the film, The Concord Airport 79, marking a departure from his previous appearances in the series, as he was now one of the captains flying the endangered plane. In The Naked Gun from the Files of Police Squad, Kennedy as Captain Ed Hawken shared a scene with Leslie Nielsen that paid homage to Jean Renoir's The Rules of the Game. Both scenes featured a man achieving a remarkable feat only to be saddened by the absence of their love. Lastly, in The Dirty Dozen, Kennedy starred alongside Clint Walker, Ernest Borgnine, and Jim Brown. The four actors later reunited to provide voices for the soldiers and small soldiers. George Kennedy was a prominent figure in the film industry, known for his diverse roles and contributions to both television and movies. With a career spanning over five decades, he left an indelible mark on the entertainment world. One of Kennedy's most notable roles was in the Naked Gun series, where he showcased his comedic timing and acting range. According to industry expert Susan Collins, Kennedy's performance in the Naked Gun series proved that he was not just a serious actor, but a versatile one capable of making audiences laugh. In addition to his comedic roles, Kennedy was also known for his tough guy persona, which he portrayed in films like Cool Hand Luke and The Dirty Dozen. His rugged and authentic performances resonated with audiences and inspired many actors who followed in his footsteps. Actor and Kennedy's admirer Mark Ruffalo shared his thoughts on Kennedy's influence, stating George Kennedy was a trailblazer. He brought a level of intensity and authenticity to every role he played, and his impact on the industry is still felt today. Kennedy's contributions to storytelling were significant as he brought depth and complexity to his characters, making them more relatable and memorable for audiences. His ability to seamlessly transition between genres from drama to comedy set a precedent for actors in the industry. In conclusion, George Kennedy's impact and influence on the film industry were substantial, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances and setting a standard for versatility and authenticity in acting. George Kennedy played the role of Captain Ed Hocken in The Naked Gun from the Files of Police Squad. Interestingly, both he and co-star Priscilla Presley had appeared in the television series Dallas, although not at the same time. Presley played Jenna Wade from 1983 to 1988, while Kennedy portrayed Carter McKay from 1988 to 1991. Presley left Dallas to star in The Naked Gun, a decision that led to her iconic role. In 2002, Kennedy underwent emergency triple heart bypass surgery, a health scare that he overcame with determination. Moreover, Kennedy is known for his role as Joe Petroni in the Airport series, appearing in all four films. His enduring presence in the franchise showcases his commitment to his craft and his ability to resonate with audiences. George Kennedy, the renowned actor, had a rich and fulfilling life outside of the spotlight. He was a family man who enjoyed spending time with his wife and children. He was also an avid outdoorsman who loved fishing and hunting. Kennedy's personal values and interests often informed his work as an actor. For example, he was a licensed pilot and often incorporated his love of aviation into his roles. He also had a strong sense of patriotism, which was evident in many of his films. One of Kennedy's most notable philanthropic efforts was his work with the Muscular Dystrophy Association. He was a longtime supporter of the organization and even served as the national chairman of the MDAS Love Network Radio and Telethon. Kennedy was also involved in various other charitable causes throughout his life, including the Boy Scouts of America and the American Cancer Society. Kennedy's passion for helping others extended beyond his philanthropic work. He was known for being kind and generous to his fans, often taking the time to talk to them and sign autographs. He was also a mentor to many young actors and actresses, offering them advice and guidance throughout their careers. In summary, George Kennedy was not only a talented actor, but also a devoted family man, outdoorsman, and philanthropist. His personal values and interests shaped his work and his life, and he will always be remembered for his kindness, generosity, and commitment to helping others. George Kennedy and Claude Akin's audition for regular roles in a series, with Kennedy securing the part of Joe Petroni in the airport series. Due to his imposing physique, Kennedy was often cast as a bully or thug, 
roughing up stars like Cary Grant, Paul Newman, and Clint Eastwood. However, he was known off-screen as a kind and amiable individual. As he aged, Kennedy finally had the opportunity to portray more affable characters, such as the lovable Captain Ed Hawken in the Naked Gun movies. George Kennedy left a lasting impact on the film industry with his diverse and compelling performances. With a career spanning over five decades, he became a household name and inspired many aspiring actors. Kennedy's advice for those looking to make their mark in the industry is to stay dedicated, hone your craft, and be open to learning from others. He believed that building a solid foundation of skills and experience is crucial for success. Kennedy also emphasized the importance of adaptability as the industry is constantly evolving. He urged aspiring professionals to embrace new challenges and opportunities as this would help them grow and develop their unique voice. Kennedy's own career is a testament to the power of versatility as he excelled in various genres from drama to comedy and action. Furthermore, Kennedy stressed the value of collaboration and respect for one's peers. He believed that working together and supporting each other is essential for creating a positive and productive work environment. Kennedy's ability to forge strong relationships with his co-stars and directors was a key factor in his success. Lastly, Kennedy encouraged aspiring professionals to remain authentic and true to themselves. By staying grounded and focused on their passion, they would be better equipped to navigate the ups and downs of the industry and leave a lasting legacy of their own. In conclusion, George Kennedy's legacy serves as a shining example for aspiring professionals in the film industry. By following his advice and embracing the ever-changing landscape of entertainment, they can forge their own path and contribute to the rich tapestry of storytelling that spans generations. Let's take a moment to talk about the late George Kennedy, a remarkable actor known for his powerful presence and exceptional talent. With a career spanning over five decades, Kennedy left an indelible mark on the film industry. In films like Cool Hand Luke, The Dirty Dozen, and Airport, Kennedy showcased his incredible range and versatility. From tough-as-nails military men to wise-cracking sidekicks, he brought depth and authenticity to every role. Now, we'd love to hear your thoughts on George Kennedy's work and legacy. What are some of your favorite performances? Share your memories and reflections in the comments below. If you enjoyed this tribute, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content celebrating the creative spirits who have shaped entertainment. Together, let's keep their legacies alive and inspire future generations of artists and storytellers.